This video revises proof involving algebra and a typical example you get in your examination. Now if you ask to prove something, what you don't do is try to put numbers in where x is. The trick to these questions and the only thing you need to do is to expand what you have and try to simplify it and hopefully spot something at the end with the terms you have left over. We have two parts to this. We've got the squared term take away 8x bracket x plus 1. So I'll deal with the 3x plus 2 squared first and try to expand this. Now don't forget the squared means two brackets times together. So to expand this, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 2 times 3x is 6x. 3x times 2 is 6x. And 2 times 2 is 4. So this becomes 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So the first part is 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And I'm taking away 8x lots of x plus 1. So I'm taking away an 8x squared. But I'm also taking away 8x times 1. So 8x times 1 is 8x. So it's taken away. So take away 8x. My next step then is to simplify. Now 9x squared take 8x squared is just 1x squared. 12x take away 8x is just 4x. There's a 4 left over as well. So this expands to become x squared plus 4x plus 4. And the question was prove it's always positive. Now the final trick is that sometimes your answer at the end will actually factorise. And if it does, try to do so. Well, this is x plus 2 bracket x plus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. This equals x plus 2 squared. Well, anything squared is always positive. So x plus 2 squared must be greater than 0. We've therefore proven the statement because again anything squared has got to be positive. So again the steps. First of all try to expand. Carefully expand the first one and the second part of the expression. Secondly is try to simplify. Collect like terms. And thirdly, where possible, try to factorise your final answer. And hopefully that will show you how the original statement is correct.